Passing short and deep serves. A lot of our players in our Beach Volleyball Mastery program online have been talking about the short and the deep serve and they're just getting beat up. In today's video, we're gonna show you how to master passing short serves and deep serves and take care of them easily. Y'all ready for the lesson? One of the most important parts that we have when we're talking about passing a short serve is the actual strength and power that comes from your legs. That is first and foremost. And I know it's probably an upsetting answer, but how do you get to short balls? How do you get to more balls? Get faster, get stronger, and get more mobile so that your steps can be bigger and you can make more plays. If you need some guidance in that, you can sign up for our 60 day max vertical course. We're gonna include that link below. It's a workout program specifically designed for beach volleyball players so you can dive into it. So once your legs are strong and fast and powerful and you're mobile, then we need to work on our foot sequence. Starting at three quarters depth and serve receive, as soon as we see the short serve, how do we see a short serve? That's important too. We need to focus with our eyes on exactly what we're looking at. So you should know if a short serve is coming before the server actually contacts the ball because you're going to be looking for their contact point. Look if they're leaning back with their chest or if they're touching the bottom of the ball. That'll give you a good idea for when that short serve is coming and you can be there faster and read it sooner. Once you read that short serve and your shoulders are nice and forward, we're actually only going to take three steps to get there. Now these steps have to be, again, max power and max extension. But the first step is going to be whichever step is closer to the ball. So if the ball is going out that way, I'm gonna step a big one with my right. If the ball is going to my left, I'm gonna take a big left step. So from here, short ball to my right side, I'm gonna take a giant right step, I'm gonna take a giant left step, and look how close I am. I'm already 10 feet from the court, moving at slow motion. The last move is really important. My hands need to be out before I get there. And I'm going to kick into a lunge, okay? So when I get here, this leg shoots me out, boom, and I get myself under it. Now look, my right foot is just barely in front of my knee. I'm not in a lunge position like this, and this is really important because if you're stretched out and reaching, you're not gonna be able to pass this ball consistently. So that's why we need to kick ourselves forward and get our knee close to our foot. Once that happens, we're going to stand with the ball. Ideally, we have a really patient setter who's behind half court, and they'll be ready for that onto attack. I can pass them to the middle, and we'll get an open net but let's go over this again. So it's a three step move from serve receive, giant step, second giant step, look how close I am already. And now I get down low quick without reaching. My knee needs to end up close to my foot, boom. From here, again, knee is very close to my heel, pass and lift, and I'm on my way back to my approach. We want to stand with the ball, so that we're passing right above our knee instead of reaching out. When you reach out, it's tough to build your platform and keep your hands together. So it's gonna be really tough to make that pass consistently. So you have to demand that your body gets there and like you're picking up a couch, it needs to be close to you and not far away from you. Very important for passing the short ball. I'll show you one time with the left foot, but one, two, and then scoot. Or a one, two kick right here. One, two, Boom, look at the relationship. My knee and my foot are close together. I'm not reaching and lunging like this. I'm right here, stand and backpedal for my pass. Two steps and a kick and you got the short serve. Now that we've covered how to pass that short serve, right, we're going to tell you how to pass a deep serve and how to take care of that. Number one, do not tomahawk in serve receive. Get rid of it. If that server can take away your number one control item, your platform, if they take that away and force you into a tomahawk on the first touch, you've lost the first battle. Now, if you want me to back that up, I'm gonna tell you, pass for two minutes with your platform, see how long you last. Pass to yourself for two minutes with your tomahawk, 
see how long you last. And that will show you which one gives you more control. Don't let somebody make you tomahawk and serve receive. Once we know that, there are two ways that we can pass that deep ball, okay? Again, it takes strength, agility, and explosiveness. So if you haven't incorporated any backpedaling or quad strengtheners into your workout program, you need to so that you can make this play. If it's high and slow and the ball's coming back to me, I can simply back up instead of following with my head and hands, back up, get behind the ball, and then try to rock forward with the ball. If the ball's coming at me faster, where I start to feel it like coming at my throat and that ugly feeling where your chest is about to get hit with the ball, the best thing you can do is drop your torso out of the way. So we're gonna use a drop step. Peel this foot away, get your torso out, and get your platform set. We can do this in both directions. I feel that ball coming at my chin and at my neck, so I get my torso out of the way. Drop step, end here. You can also add a shuffle to that if the ball's going even a little bit deeper. So drop step, shuffle, and then rock forward with my pass. But it's very important that you save the tomahawk for absolute, absolute, absolute last resort. Try to get your platform on it. You will be a better high percentage passer. Our beach volleyball mastery program includes 11 different skill courses, and one of them is called Pass with Consistency and Confidence, the Serve Receive Masterclass. If you want to become a rock star in Serve Receive, go ahead and sign up for the Beach Volleyball Mastery Program. Once there, you can start in on the Serve Receive Masterclass, and when you get the drills in there, you can film them at home or at your court, then post them to our private Facebook group where we will provide coaching to you. You don't have to be out here in California to get coached by us. You can do it from anywhere in the world, and we have players from all over the world taking our courses right now and winning their tournaments. We want you to be a part of that. What's he doing back there? Is he doing something stupid? <sighs> Roll the credits. <laughs>